10 man brush is not a detangler for force hair. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Nombu Yomogun, your resident healthy hair care consultant and aka natural hair specialist, whatever you want to call me. If it helps you, I'm down for it. I am tackling a series that I promised years ago when I was a YouTuber, now I'm actually back. I want to talk to you guys about the principles of a healthy hair care journey. And this is specifically to natural hair, but some principles can be applied to chemically treated hair. Over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be taking you through the detangling process, the washing, the conditioning, the moisturizing, protecting and trimming. I'm going to give you the whys, the how and the whens and the with what. Please know that this is in collaboration with the one and only Ritos. I'm really keen. Guys, I got my training there as a natural hair care specialist. Please note that I'm not a uh, registered medical professional. If you want any medical advice concerning skin and scalp care or scalp issues that are medically related, please contact your local dermatologist or trichologist. But for now, I'm here to give you principles and information that are key and essential to building your natural hair care regimen and seeing healthy hair care in long-term results. So we're gonna start with detangling in this episode. I know we love to hate it, we hate to love it. I do too. Especially if you've got type four hair, you really probably don't enjoy detangling because it takes long and different hair types tangle uh, more than others. So what I'm gonna do is take you through the principles of detangling that I believe to work this works for me and my type 4 hair. If you have anything different, then by all means, give your advice in the, in the comment section. The best way to have detangled hair is to have trimmed and healthy ends. If you're not trimming and keeping your ends healthy on a regular schedule by getting a professional trim or using professional shears, if you're going to do it yourself, then your detangling takes longer. So rule number one, if you want to maintain detangled hair, maintain healthy ends. Get your professional trim in twice a year minimum and if you want to customize that, that schedule then by all means go ahead. Normal scissors don't work and chances are they're probably making it worse. I am getting my trim or get my trims at Ruto's. I will have officially now moved to getting my trims at Ruto's. They do a curly cut, it's called a curly cut really and that's a trim that's done on your shrinkage after a wash and go. It's a very detailed process. If you'd like to see the wash and go process, then let me know. I will definitely post it up for you. Number two, detangle before you shampoo. The shampooing process makes your hair very frictionless. <laughs> it makes your hair like sehoa, you know. Um, the friction in shampoo, because of the, the change in pH level, makes your hair more static. So if your hair is more static, it's more likely to do this. And because you're removing the lubrication from the oils and stuff like that, shampoo is not the enemy, by the way. Because you're removing the, 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 all the oils and lubricating substances, your hair is probably likely to tangle. Make sure you detangle before you shampoo so that you can lay your cuticle flat. And when you're shampooing, it's actually much easier to get the shampoo in instead of having, doing this all at once. That's not going to get you anywhere. Number three, use a good detangling product. I personally now prefer to detangle with my fingers and the detangling product I'm using is the Ruto's um, detangling conditioner. It is quite a nice thick and creamy conditioner. I did before have a problem with their older one because I thought it's, it's watery but that's because I was also not used to finger detangling and so they've, I think they've changed their formula a little bit. It's much more thicker and creamier and so it allows for you to have control over your detangling process. I realized once I used a very slippery aloe vera like product that I didn't have much control when I tried a different brand or different type of detangler. I didn't have much control over my hair. It, it, it was slippery so it gave me the, the feel of of detangling but I'm not really taking out the knots one by one and so what I like about this product is that it is slippery but not too slippery that it would take away the control that I have in the finger detangling process because a very slippery product can give you the illusion that your hair is detangled but you have some knots that are hiding there um, in the clumps and so you want to be careful when you're detangling which is why finger detangling is probably the best way to detangle in the beginning you don't want to uh, immediately go in with a tool. 
Um, and so that's why I like the detangler. It lasts really long because you apply it on wet hair and because it is a professional product, water activates the product and so it doubles or like kukumalas in size when you apply it on wet hair. Number four, the key to maintaining detangled hair is to keep your hair in a stretch state, i.e. If you're not doing a professional wash and go or a wash and go yourself where you thoroughly kept detangled and gone through and clumped and popped the curls, then your hair is most likely to do this. Shrinkage is not the enemy. Our shrinkage is not evil. It's just the nature of our hair. And by the way, shrinkage is actually a sign of healthy hair. So if your hair bounces back, it means your hair is still healthy. You don't have heat damage of sorts. I used to personally not like having my hair in shrinkage wash for long periods. I'm still experimenting with that. But after my wash and go that I did at Ruto's, they did a whole process of detangling um, only with fingers, no combs, uh, which allowed for my hair to clump in a way that it doesn't wire into itself again because of the foam that was put on and it was set on my hair. So I think there's a method to keeping your hair detangled in shrinkage. The easiest way I think to try and keep your hair detangled is to have it in an elongated style. Whether it's African threading, whether it's twists, whether it's plaits with your hair, you don't want to do them too small, especially for fine hair, but that is the best way and probably the best way to maintain uh, length or length retention. Sleeping with a satin material is key. Our cotton pillowcases and any other material in there that doesn't have like a slippery surface is gonna produce friction and that friction of you rubbing all over your pillow at night is causing tangles that's what you want to avoid whether it's a bonnet duke or pillowcase it will really take you far okay don't be afraid of buying a new bonnet or investing in it it's gonna last you years don't detangle your hair often uh, and don't ever detangle hair dry hair please do not let that comb touch your dry hair your hair's gonna break. If you've been struggling with the afro and you're wondering why it's so sore to comb, it's because you're doing it the wrong way. Do not put a comb in your dry hair unless it's lubricated properly and you do not need to comb your hair every day. Plaiting and unplaiting every night is not good for your hair, it causes breakage. So avoid that by all means. Try limit your detangling to your wash days only, especially when your hair is lubricated with conditioner. Then you will see true length retention um yeah please if you can take one thing take it that the last one i'm sure you're wondering about tools you can use whatever tools that you feel work for you i sometimes use a paddle brush when i'm feeling lazy but i want you to know something a denman brush is not a detangler for force hair if you've tried it and your hair is broken i i'm with you sis a denman brush is better as a smoothing and defining product once you've finger detangled use a denman brush to smooth to make sure but Put it away sis even those easy detanglers i've got a i've got an issue with those ta -ta 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 detanglers i tried it i failed i failed some more and i decided to just have some beef with that comb but you know what if it works for you it works for you remember if you start with finger detangling then you're more likely to have a better better results with the tool try it with the white tooth comb maybe Paddle brush is great and anything that's not going to pull on your hair too much. Fingers are probably the best form. You will see in the video demonstration that I am going to show you me detangling with my Ruto's product. Oh, and the last, last thing, always detangle in sections. Never just take your comb, ne? Let's put on the glasses to be serious. Never take your comb and just do this. It's just a recipe for, for tangles. Always tangle in about between four to 12 sections. I prefer eight to 12 sections, d depending on how, how much energy I have. I will sit down, watch some TV, have a glass of wine, have a glass of coffee, have something that's gonna distract me while I'm doing the process, and I will take my time. Do it on a day that you're relaxed, do it on a day that you are not stressed, just do it. And when you're done detangling, twist up your hair again. That is how you make sure it doesn't come back into itself. I hope that is of help. Uh, now I'm going to take you into a video of me detangling and uh, let's have healthier hair. What is that accent? I will meet you in the next episode. May you have healthy, 
blessed and long luscious kinky type forehead okay love you guys see you later